Of course, we just mentioned the best offensive rebounding team in the entire D-League. This is a team that likes to run their offense in the half court. They don't go out and transition too much. Martin, elbow jumpers offline. He's one of two energy players on assignment from the Memphis position too much. Martin, elbow jumpers offline. He's one of two energy players on assignment from the Memphis Grizzlies, their affiliate. James Ennis, who's coming off the bench tonight, the other. Holloway with an and one opportunity. His first, the team's first. And while that's going on, Jared Sam. This first quarter of D-League action brought to you by Central Kia. Is the energy in the half court. Stevenson with his back to Singh now facing up. And you can see Fish there. They're trying to double him to help Singh out a bit. This is not an energy team that shoots the three well. That three-point attempt missed by Wisnet, and that allows them maybe the chemistry and a lot of familiarity, which right now, given the current rotation and only eight guys on the floor, the Legends don't really have. As Travis was talking there, Andrew Harrison knocked down a three. Holloway, Holloway with a step back, and he knocks that down. And he's got one thing that a little guy, relatively speaking, Mavericks did indeed draft him in the second round. As Ashley knocks them both down, the Legends lead by three. Stevenson high post. Martin going hard to the hoop, can't get it to go, and Murray the rebound, the Legends pushing the ball out in transition. They don't have numbers though, so Murray will... As Dallas hosts Miami, and with their injury issues, the Mavericks, they need all the bodies they can down there. So Justin Anderson is downtown tonight, and of course Salah is downtown tonight as well. Ashley lines up, corner three is short. Seeing the offensive rebound, put back good off the glass. He, he can do that. Parks puts it on the deck, attacks and kicks. Ten on the shot clock. A minute left in the first quarter. Terrific defense by Iowa here. Three on the clock, Holloway heaves up a three and it's in and out. Yeah, they earned that. No penetration allowed. Switching, so there was no difference in... I got you, you got me. That was terrific. The Legends 2 of 7 from behind the arc here early on. Ennis falling away, can't get it to go. Miller goes high for the board. And you saw the Legends that last possession getting a second chance bucket. They're third in the D-League entering tonight, averaging just under 17 second chance points per game. A lot of that though, you gotta believe due to the athleticism of a guy down low like Michael Eric and a guy like Brandon Ashley as Wilson knocks down the three, Eric and Ashley not available. <laughs> well, and Eric's a guy who helped you win inside on both ends of the floor. And that's just not available to Texas tonight. And because of the lack of Michael Eric to the high ankle sprain, it's going to be a while. The legends will scramble and go try to sign themselves a center. And then they will certainly hope that on Friday, when Jared Sandler and, uh, and I have that telecast, that there's uh, a Salah Mejri sighting down here. That won't be the case on Saturday, on Saturday, when Rick Carlisle will take Mejri and Justin Anderson on the road with the Mavericks. Legends come out in favor after some chaos. Three ball, Pledger, can't get it to go, and he's struggling in his home debut for the Legends. But now Singh also gave them three fouls, and he's got to stay out of foul trouble if he wants to play extended minutes here tonight. Miller turned away by Martin. Jackson leading the break. And a baseline jumper knocked down by Wright. The Legends wanted... That's a clever parallel. Uh, now throw this into the gumbo. Jared Leto's an outstanding athlete. Jared Leto was the, he was the best athlete on his middle school football team, uh, among everything else. He also won an Oscar. That's, uh, Jared oh, did I say that? <laughs> you don't necessarily have to play well to be on the prospects list. Fish, you're absolutely right. I mean, when we look at uh, a player like Toure Murray, you know, he's playing well. He's not playing all-star level well, yet he's a top 10 prospect right. because of what he could bring to an NBA roster. There you go. Smoke a cig, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Murray gets a down low to Singh, back to the basket. 
falling away a little strong. Offensive rebound, Murray. And Ashley knocks down the bunny. I like the confidence, though, out of Alex Stevenson on his back. Stevenson doubled. Nice pass. They kick it out, Harrison. Short on the three. He chases after his own rebound, and oh, lucky break because Martin was there earlier in the NBA. Time spent with the Mavericks for part of the team that went to the finals in 06. And you see the legends pushing it. Trying. Even on an out-of-bounds entry, Wilson. Three ball, can't get it to go, and Martin two-handing the rebound. You know, when you see Salah Mejri, uh, it is exhausting. It does take it out of you. You do have tired legs, and here you are trying to run, and you only have eight bodies. And sometimes when you come off a road trip, it's that first home game that gives you trouble because you're still readjusting then to being at home. You hear coaches talk, you come off a road trip, it's that first home game that gives you trouble because you're still readjusting then to being at home. You hear coaches talk about that a lot, that you expect right away coming off the road to kind of hit your stride at home. Sometimes it takes a game or two, and maybe we're seeing a guy, speaking of hitting his stride, Brandon Ashley knocking. Well, sir, I don't know that Johnny Manziel's a hero of mine. Are they together? Tell, tell me they are not together. <laughs> I don't think they're together. Okay, good. It's the last thing that Elvis Andrews needs. <laughs> Lob attempt. Stevenson comes down with it. Off the glass. No good. Ball batted around. Ashley's got it. The Legends with Numb comes down with it. Off the glass. No good. Ball batted around. Ashley's got it. The Legends with numbers. Murray behind the back, and it's deflected and stolen by Harris. And immediately Nick Van Exel will go to his bench upset with Teray Murray. As Stevenson draws the foul, Patrick Miller is going to come into the game. Mike Fisher, Jared Sandler here with you. The energy leading the Legends, 87-77, just underway here in the fourth quarter. And Fisher, we heard Dr. Glogow talk about Michael Eric, saying he might be available this weekend. After watching the first three quarters of the Legends tonight, it is even more apparent than before the game started how badly this team squeezed the board. Three-possession game. Right, with his back to Murray, lobs it up. Andrews can't get the jam to go. Murray pushing, but for Murray pushing, but forced to give it up. Miller gives it up to Pledger. Steps back, three ball, got it. And they're going to review it, but they're calling it a three. Gives it up to Pledger. Steps back. Three ball. Got it. And they're going to review it, but they're calling it a three. Legends down by four as we currently play. Oh, no, they're going to call it a two and review it. Pledger. Ashley. Spinning. Laying it up, but he can't get it to go. Don't mind that, although Pledger now in such a groove. He, and you see this a lot. It looks like he'll never miss. Every shot he takes looks like it's magnetized to the basket. Pledger now in such a groove. He, and you see this a lot. It looks like he'll never miss. Every shot he takes looks like it's magnetized to the basket. Corner. Miller. Three ball. Bingo! The Legends on a three-point bar. Ashley, the... Lone healthy all-star for the legend, 17 points, nine boards, and four assists. Ashley getting a bit of a breather right now. Holloway kicks. Wilson. Three in and out. That was a good play. Some looks here late in the putback slam by Martin, giving the energy the lead emphatically. Yeah, five legends didn't find five bodies there. People weren't getting boxed out. Holloway pulls up, knocks it down. Lead back for the Legends. Interesting that Stevenson, the All-Star, getting minutes late here for the energy. Inexplicable from where we sit. Harrison, ball knocked away by Murray. Andrews got it. He finds a cutting. Jackson, who's too strong on the layup. He had a freebie. Holloway driving. Scoreboard shows the energy up one, but it should be 103 all. 
Yeah, Nick. Nick caught your caught the air just like you did. Ashley, three straight away. Back rim and Harrison the rebound. And they got this. Murray bringing the ball up the floor for the Legends. And you see, you see Miller advancing gingerly. Wilson, I'm sorry, advancing up the floor cautiously. Pledger off a screen, knocks it down. It's a two, and the Legends strike first here in the overtime period. Period. The Legends with the ball in the lead. Stephen Pledger hit the only shot of this overtime period. He's got the ball in his hands here. Eight on the shot clock. Now it's Holloway working on the much bigger Martin. Get some space. Jumper is short, rebounded by Andrews. There's 75 seconds left in the game. How many more possessions are you going to get? They're golden. That's a one possession game right now. The energy can make it two possessions with a bucket. Martin goes baseline, up and can't finish the dunk, but a foul is called. Didn't have enough energy to finish.